The best wildfowl art in the world is in Ocean City this weekend. The Ward World Championship Wildfowl Carving Competition and Art Festival kicked off today. It runs through Sunday. And believe it or not, the event is in its 50th year this year. Yeah, folks can view about 1,200 different waterfowl carvings representing more than 150 species from around the world. And organizers say there's something for everyone to see. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli takes us to the Roland E. Powell Convention Center for a preview. One location, three days, thousands of carefully crafted carvings from artists around the globe. The Ward World Championship Wildfowl Carving Competition and Art Festival is back for its 50th year. The Ward Foundation World Championships is this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. John A. Leonard, or Art as he's more commonly known, is the board chairman of the Ward Foundation. He says after a confusing few years due to COVID, the competition is back to what it once was, and thus he's anticipating it to amplify. So we're expecting a larger than normal turnout. Uh, so yes, we've, we've expanded our area um, and we're hoping, waiting for people to come and fill it up. The Roland E. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City is going to be packed with carvings of all Kinds. The judges are looking for different things in different categories. If you have a category that is ultra realistic, they are looking for minute details that compare to the live bird. If you have someone that is judging a working decoy, they have a different criteria that they're looking for. They're looking for something that would withstand the abuse that they, they take during the hunting environment. No matter the category, almost all of the artists are working with wood. Everything has to be made out of wood, with the exception of in the hunting category, they can be made out of cork, which is a, a natural, natural thing, or stretched canvas, which is an, a traditional type of, of hunting decoy, stretched canvas. In fact, art has a special spot for that specific category. I love the, the, the hunting decoy part of it. Some people come in to see the more realistic birds like the world level entries and the world bears. Um, so we get all kinds of people. Seriously, there's something for everyone to see. How about this setup done by the son of Carver J.J. Iskey? He was a mailman who uh, taught himself how to paint and carve. This is his first attempt, a uh, little Thing. And this was uh, early, early stuff he did, canvas backs. Many folks take interest in those that are interpretive. Some of those pieces are, that's where the real artist comes out uh, because most of the time the pieces are not painted in any way, it's natural wood, and they use the shape and the form of the piece to project a bird. Um, and you get some really beautiful artistic pieces that come in for that. New this year, an open category for any type of animal. This year we've had it, we've opened it up so you can carve mammals, horses, squirrels, what have you, um, and bring them here. We also have fish. Some of the carvings are available for purchase and they'll also be holding an auction in June. Decoy carving is a centuries old practice and one extra special to our area. Delmarva is unique in the fact that we attract millions of birds every year that come down the Atlantic Flyway. So we are natural, uh, a natural area for birds to come. So naturally we have a lot of people that have made decoys in the past for decoy hunting. Um, and that's how the Ward Foundation got its start by Lim and Steve Ward down in Crisfield, Maryland, making hunting decoys, and they made the trans, uh, transition from hunting decoys to more decorative decoys that people could put in their house. Of course, the artwork in OC this weekend comes from all over the world. Art says no matter where one's from, it takes a few important ingredients to become the world champion. Time. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, uh, a lot of patience. You have to do thousands of hours of research. Uh, 
And again, it's just a time consuming thing because if you're competing at the world level against other world champions, you know they're going to do their best that they can do. So you have to be the best you can be. In a way though, perhaps everyone who participates in this event is a big winner by being part of an artful tradition almost as old as time. And if you're interested in checking out the Ward World Championship hours for tomorrow are 9 to 5, and on Sunday it's 10 to 4. What an amazing thing to last this long. You know it's got to mm -hmm. be good. You know it's got to be good. Absolutely.